uh, Giorgios Kokovitis. Uh, I'm an electrical engineer. Uh, my official title is a lead wireless engineer for Greater Medical Systems here in Andover, Massachusetts. And I uh, manage and run the wireless group. Uh, and I've been here since 1992. Drager Medical uh, makes uh, ventilators, uh, anesthesia machines, and we are in the patient monitoring division. So we make heart monitors uh, and other, we monitor other physiological parameters uh, like blood oxygen, saturation, uh, blood pressure, and things like that. I use Maple as a um, tool for insight, if that's a good way to put it. Um, I use Maple as a tool um, to verify uh, work that I see in an application note or uh, mathematical uh, analysis that somebody else might have done. And uh, sometimes what I discover is uh, what I see in the literature might not be correct. Uh, so it's a, it's a great analysis and verification tool for me. So, um, you know, trust but verify and Maple is excellent for that. Um, another way I use Maple is uh, for synthesis. Uh, and there are many analysis tools out there uh, where you can, you know, plug in numbers, uh, but Maple uh, allows me uh, to, um, say, analyze a circuit symbolically without knowing what the values are up front, and then I can go back, I can plug in some numbers, have it solve the equations for me, and, you know, come to a conclusion that way. Another way I use Maple is I use it as a unified framework where I don't have to have a word processor to type something. I can enter equations mathematically the way I see them and I can have one document with titles, with text, with plots, with annotations. So it's a, it's a nice way to have a, a running uh, you know, document that's live that I, I can share with others. And the other way I use Maple is through that same document I create a PDF or an RTF that I can share with colleagues without having to recast everything into a different environment. Uh, for me, it's um, it's the symbolics. Uh, I like the fact that um, with one environment, you know, through Maple, that I can start with equations the way I see them, the way that they are, you know, naturally uh, written down on paper mathematically. Uh, I don't have to uh, describe them uh, using different techniques. So if I you know, see an integral, I can enter it as an integral, it displays an, as an integral, and it's clear to somebody uh, later who's looking at it that I'm integrating a function, and I don't have to, to describe it using words as to what it is I'm trying to do. And then the beauty is at the end, uh, if I want to solve it, it'll do that for me. It's the same with differential equations with displaying a, a matrix using symbolic elements. So for me, um, I think originally when I started with Maple, it was the symbolics that attracted me. I'll give you an example where we were looking at um, a, a method uh, for ECG that was developed uh, 40 years ago. It was uh, written up in a, a trade journal and it had a um, a, uh, a list of three separate design equations describing ECG vector potentials across the body and uh, there was a circuit and there were three separate set of equations that were coupled and we were looking at that and we were wondering, you know, A, how were these equations derived and more importantly, are, are they accurate and do they give us enough resolution for what we're trying to do because we were looking to reuse that circuit. So I was able to uh, model uh, that system in Maple, derive the equations, uh, determine that the equations written in the text were identical to what Maple had uh, displayed. But then more importantly, once you have that, that is a baseline now to take it to the next level. The equations were describing voltages. Once we had that, we can go back and we could derive currents. Or what we could do is change values and then see how the inputs change based on some of the resistive elements changing. So uh, in that regard, it, it's, a, it's a huge time saver.